Welcome back, everyone. Hey, yeah, we might as well load up. So Harm 2 only works on Undead, but it's good stuff. And... I'm not even gonna bother. All right, Black Magic, what you got for me? Dang. Uh, I will take both of these, Mr. Wayne. All right, sleep tends not to work whenever you need it to, so we're not gonna fret. Hmm. Gonna go see what our options are, but spending money on an ice sword is not a terrible idea. I don't think so anyway, what do I know? You know what? Bick the pirate. Bick the pet. Alright, we gotta fight nine pirates. The good news for us is that we can obliterate everything. They will have some deeps, don't get me wrong. By the way, there's a nice little story about how I ended up getting Final Fantasy 1 uh, in my FF15 Let's Play. A little short story from my life, telling, telling the tale in seven minutes or something. Check it out if you're interested. If you want to feel nostalgic, want to get to know... Whoops. <laughs> Take this canoe. Welcome to Transportation with me, Get Dave. We basically have it all. Wow, this is really cheap for steel armor. Unfortunately, it's worse than flame armor, which is for sale right there. I don't know if a fighter can use it. I'm gonna play it safe. Nope. Fighter only. Yeah, let's do it. And now our tank will be able to tank. So you can take a look. That absorb is how many hit points get reduced from the damage we're going to take. Black belts will have that number just always be equal to their current level. So, yeah, seven's not bad. 39's better. Uh, and putting on equipment dense tends to decrease your um, evasion stats. So you're going to be taking more on the chin. It's usually quite worth it. House. Four ca- wow. Those are some cheap cabins. I know we have tents, but... Dang. Houses are really good too. You get... You get a lot for them, but... Alright, we save, we recharge our charges. Uh, we could go try to get the airship. That would be very nice to have. Uh, tickles be hiss up. Let's press B, press B select. I don't know the lake system well enough to get to the floater. We're trapped in an area that they call the inner sea right now. You can see there's no real way out of the ocean we're at until you create a canal. Unless we had an airship and could just fly over everything. So yeah, this landmass we're on right now I'm pretty familiar with. Everything else in the game, everything north. Good luck. Good luck, Dave. I tell you what, let's be thorough and a bit more direct about this. We're gonna run, whoops, I remapped the buttons. We're gonna run, gonna run faster than my bullet. And just check out Matoya's cave, which we walked past before because we didn't have. <laughs> hey! Canoe! 
we didn't have the bridge. I remember seeing this. I actually played Final Fantasy III at around the same time. Seeing the name Cellas in there and being like, did they know? No, I just read it backwards. Push B, select. Hey, let's see the map. Oh yeah, we can't talk across tables yet. I can't see anything without it. Who stole my crystal? Astos. And then he threw it, he threw it on the ground. Oh, we won't be able to... Oh, all right, fine. Opal Gear is what they will call Diamond in later Final Fantasies. It is... Not quite the best, but a good enough substitute in this game. And it tends to give lightning resistance. Oh, maybe we shouldn't be doing this right now. Now let's try uh, rubbing him out. So rub is a directed instant death spell. All right. These guys typically have a lot of money, by the way. I spent a lot of time grinding ogres, which could not sound more like slang, but is not. Uh, there's an area up here called the Peninsula of Power. That's just the de facto name for it. A lot of people like to do grinding there. Mad Ponies might be able to mess me up because they have some attack power. As long as they only hit Dave, we're fine. Pardon me, get D. Words to live by. Anyway, we probably don't need to grind there just because of our experience modifier. We'll have access to... Well, we'll have access to an airship, which is distracting me. Could sail to Elfland. So, I mean, for point of reference, we're about 20 minutes in and we're on level 8. This is a good level to dive the marsh cave, in my opinion. It often takes longer to get there. You could be, I mean, several hours in before you get to that level. In terms of casual play, anyway. Speedrunning, all bets are off. You need a safer grind. I like down in that spot, by the way. All right, what you got, Oddish? Look at me conserving my my spell charges. Probably don't have to. We didn't really see Odd Eyes much. Sahagans, they're recurring enemies. So I think there's a river I can start canoeing, canoeing on down there. Rub is a high probability death cast on one target. Bane is on everybody. These are water elementals, so you can see Fire 3 is not working as well. Yeah, I might be able to get... I might be able to get the airship from here. It's exciting. We've, we've got suspense, everyone. All the ingredients of a great let's play right here. Please have some. Please have something. Hey. Well, that's something. Sure, and pop. And I think. Falcon's not super accurate. Ugh. We're gonna just have to do a manual check here. This is how it used to be, everyone. 2841. So we have more accuracy, slightly less damage. Oh, the Falcon. 
Save our prince. Oh, the young royalty is in a dark place in this game. All right, so let's talk about the spell fast. It, uh, you can only cast it once for it to really make a difference. Oh, some people really like Quake too. I guess, let's do it. It's another kill everyone spell. It can hit some bosses though, I think. This is where you revive dead party members, by the way. Uh, it basically, fast is gonna double the number of times you attack. That's a big deal. I think Red Mage could use this. Maybe even the Ice Shield, but don't quote me on that. Dang it. You can use the Chain. Well, we'll hold on to that. Maybe when he gets a class upgrade, he'll be able to. Probably not going to be much we need here. You never want to be without a soft. They're really expensive. 800 in the vanilla game. I had, a, I had a bad experience not having it once. Yes, please. Nuke for a cool 721. I mean, I guess I'll grab lip 3. Not much point, to be honest. If you have nuke... You cast new. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we have harm too, so no sense going for more charges on a worse spell. are safe. So in Final Fantasy 1, it's Here Lies Erdrick, hero of Dragon Quest. Dang. We need to come back here and, and buy some of those spells. Cure 4 is uh, full life. We're, we're getting a lot of the good ones, everyone. Right, you know what? Let's head to bed. All right, I don't know if there's any treasures we can get right now. There's a bunch that are locked off, but you need the Mystic Key. There's their Sleeping Prince. Five years. Only Herb can wake him. To get Herb, we need to give Matoya her crystal. If we give Matoya her crystal, then we can give Herb to the prince, and then they can give the mystic key to us, and then we will have access to lots of treasure vaults, and so on. Alright, let's just grind out one quick fight. We've got all our pizzazz, so this won't last long. No charges yet. We've got a silver hammer. I could possibly buy one for the red mage, I don't know. White mages can use hammers and staves. Red mages can use a little of everything, a lot of nothing. <laughs> a snack! This is, I think, our first name change for an enemy. Alright, loop it around. I will take I will take harm four. And I'll be back <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Ah, screw it, let's go for a jog. This is gonna be a little bit on the dangerous side. I'm not going to use it in this situation, but it's good to know we have Lit 2 available. Black mages, by the way, they can use rods and knives.
lives. Fighters can use almost everything. Lots of swords and the like. Yeah, I think almost every weapon. And once they become knights, they can use really almost everything. Um, one caveat, anyone can use the Masamune. So that's a nice, it's a nice treat. But Ochu is a potential concern. Not gonna do any damage to the fighter, but yeah, there you go, 57. Try it. Should have done that sooner, to be honest. Ineffective. Alright, it appears I have grossly underestimated the number of hit points it has. Eat Fire 3. A measly 30 damage. Alright, it's still. still Lightning Elemental. Sorry about the sound, I tried to not have the game volume too loud because of the, uh... Shazbot. Because of the ear-destroying aspects of the game. Survive one hit. Perfect. Well, let's try our luck. There we go. Well, at least our fighter's getting ridiculously strong. And the black belt's really gonna start to catch up. A mysterious rock. You can actually access the town of Crescent Lake. Which I might try doing. Or I could really go for that. Path to the airship. So it's hidden in the desert. Normally you have to go on quite a difficult journey to get the floater. But we don't have to. Yeah, yeah, we're there, I think. I have forgotten something. See what we can do. I wonder if I'd have more luck with banging it. Alright, this is gonna be fine. We haven't rubbed anything out yet. <laughs> Insert your get D jokes. There we go, it's some poison smoke. Yeah, we don't need our boat. Look at that cutscene. Quick and to the point. Welcome everybody. We have an airship. I think I have a button double mapped. It'll be fine. Welcome to Crescent Lake. Oh goodness. Well, we don't really have a ton of money. We can look at what they have here. Alright, we could give this to the black belt, but at this point it's not going to increase his defense, I don't think. 
Red Mage could probably use it. I think it's four defense if memory serves. Memory going way back. Mage can definitely use the Rune Sword. By the way, I didn't mention what thieves can use. The answer is, like, kind of swords. Black belts can use claws and nunchucks, but I mean, pretty quickly you don't want to do that. Hmm. So level six spells. We saw life, but we can't afford it. Those three would be worth picking up. All right, so this is gonna be a nice place when we can afford anything. And before we sign off for the, for the episode, one of these guys has something. They're, they're here to, there we go. We can almost beat the game now. You need the loot to beat the game. They, uh, they tell you about the plot. We'll do a quick run. If you listen to Final Fantasy music, the Distant Worlds concert has a good cover of The Prelude. And the choir, and have the sopranos teaching, like they're singing the names of the elements in Latin. You've got the sopranos doing one, the altos doing another. It's, it's quite well done. They're telling us we gotta kill the fiends. Oh yeah, and the game's post-apocalyptic. The Fire Fiend sucks! Oh yeah, Gurgo Volcano. The Death Trap. With this canoe, yeah, normally this is where you get the canoe. Yeah! Gurgu Volcano, always a potential problem. All right, everyone, next episode, I mean, we can kind of go anywhere, so we might do that. <laughs>